bushcrafting today. I basically made myself just a, a quick little fire pit, charcoal pit. Uh, today we're going to do a little bit of camp cooking in a Dutch oven. I'm going to cook up some chicken, some potatoes, and some uh, carrots and things. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of a garden update. And, uh, we're just going to have some uh, fun, a leisure video, and uh, just check it out. So stick with me. All right, so we're back, and actually, uh, I'll give you a quick little garden update. Uh, here's all the herbs, okay? They're all coming up: flat leaf parsley, basil, uh, regular parsley, oregano, uh, uh, lemon balm. Uh, there's uh, rosemary in there, and there's sage in there as well. Uh, thyme, and we're going to cut those out and use that uh, in tonight's dinner. And if you look over here, you can see the uh, tomatoes are actually coming up quite nicely. Let me just zoom in a little bit on those. You see they're coming in pretty good. And uh, the only thing that, uh, that bothered me this year was I put in the strawberries and I think the uh, chipmunks got to those. So, all right, let's go back here. And we're gonna cut up a, a bunch of uh, spices for the for the dinner tonight. So what we're gonna want is we're gonna want some of this parsley. That we're gonna take some some sage. All right. Take some chives. Nice healthy bunch. So. That's actually what we're going to throw in the pot tonight. Get our thyme, rosemary, chives, sage, and parsley. After uh, after we got the uh, the spices done, I just want to kind of get my my charcoal rolling here. Get some nice coals going and working. Six quart Dutch oven that we're going to be using today, and what I've done is I've actually just taken a chicken, okay, and just split it. So I got two halves of chicken. It's uh, just salt and pepper seasoning right now. We're going to throw some uh, flour and some cornmeal on there, and maybe a little bit of cayenne pepper. And we've taken a medium onion and just cut it in half with some baby carrots and just some celery for our vegetables. And then actually what I've taken is uh, fingerling potatoes. I kind of like those and I just cut them in half. So we're going to be putting a bunch of those in the bottom of the pan. So let's go ahead and we'll start to assemble all this and then we'll wait for the fire to get ready. Okay, so what we've done is actually I've taken the potatoes and put them on the bottom with a little bit of oil, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, threw in my vegetables and basically I'm just putting in my spices over the top. All right, then we're going to put in the chicken and then we're going to bring it almost to cover the chicken up with a uh, chicken stock and I'm going to add a bottle now, of beer. We've added our chicken and we just coated it with flour, just all purpose flour and some cornmeal. We added a little bit of cayenne pepper to it and uh, we just re-seasoned it up again. Now we're going to add in our chicken stock in our beer and then we're going to add a little bit of wonder to it just to thicken it up a little bit. Okay. Here's our chicken stock. It's using collagen, low sodium. So we're going to take our beer we're just going to put it into a mixing bowl. Okay. And we're going to 
dissolve a little bit of Wondra in there first. add that in. Now we're going to cover it. Now we're going to take it outside and uh, so put it through the fire. Pretty doing pretty good here. And I'm just going to take a couple, put it on the top. Okay, so we have it on the fire and basically I've added coals to the top and we have some coals on the bottom. We can uh, continue to take coals from the bottom and, and put it on the top. And uh, you know, occasionally what we're going to do is we're just going to, you know, rotate it, pick it up, rotate it, so that it cooks evenly. And uh, it's kind of a set it and forget it kind of deal. It's uh, going to cook inside there and keep moist. And we're going to see how well it turns out. Moment of truth, guys. Let's take this lid off. Let's see what we got. Oh, that looks pretty good. Let's take a look at it. Potatoes are nicely done. And that chicken looks pretty good. It's white all the way through. Alright. Nice and crispy on top. Looking good. Not bad. Now, let's try some biscuits. No biscuits? We don't want to do biscuits? No, I don't want to do biscuits today. <laughs> All right, so we don't do no damn biscuits no today. Damn, we're not prepared for biscuits. All right, fine. No biscuits. Sorry, guys. No biscuits. All right. We'll, uh, we'll uh, bring this on in. Well, actually, we're going to bring some plates out. and <laughs> Serve it up from here. Serve it up from here. All right, guys, so here's what we got. We got ourselves some nice chicken. Got ourselves some vegetables. Now we're going to take it in and feast. Basically, I just got done chowing down on that. <clears throat> And, uh, you know, the Dutch oven, you know, it's been around for ages. Actually, Paul Revere was the one that's credited with making the lip on top so that you can <clears throat> actually put your coals, such coals on top on the cover. So they have been around for a while, and they've been used in camps ever since. Uh, it's a nice way to cook if you're going camping, or say there's you and a bunch of guys that actually go out, and one guy could be designated to carry the Dutch oven and maybe some minimal gear. Uh, we can set up a camp, <clears throat> you know, and something, place that you can work out of. But uh, it's just a little bit of camp cooking tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I certainly did because I got a full belly and it tastes pretty good. So uh, this is Brian from Snowwalker Bushcraft, you know. Thank you for your views and I thank you for your comments. And until the next one, walk the woods.